Shalom, brothers and sisters. Now again, this touches on politics. I'm not making a politics video. I'm trying to teach you here. Watch who you listen to and follow and don't just go on reputation. King David was amazing. A lot of his sons were very evil. And the same goes for anybody else. The one can be an absolute child of God following and walking the path and the children can be absolutely something else completely. You can't label the one as per the other. Because I serve the Lord and walk with him doesn't mean my son automatically will. Thank you, Jesus, that he does. But let each one work out his salvation with fear and trembling. And when you are busy listening to someone or looking into someone, don't judge them or accept them for who their parents are or were or because they were great in some way. Learn to know the person you're dealing with directly. This goes for evil as well. You can have someone that's an incredible false prophet, and there's many examples of that today. And then they have a family member that's younger, that's an amazing man or woman of God. So each person must work out their salvation with fear and trembling. Now I'm setting that as the base for this article so that you can see exactly why I'm saying this. Billy Graham's granddaughter joins evangelicals for Harris, quotes the book of Isaiah to blast Trump supporters. Now I've got so many problems with that whole byline just there, just in its beginning. Whether you like Billy Graham or not, whether you've got an issue with Trump or with Harris or whatever, the granddaughter of the late Reverend Billy Graham endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris during an evangelicals for Harris Zoom call last week Wednesday. And suggested that Christians who support former President Donald Trump are causing people to turn away from Christianity. Now, my first question to her would be, you're okay with the abortion agenda, sometimes up to birth, that they're pushing amongst many, many other evil things and policies that are coming from that administration. You're all right with that? And you're okay with bashing the other side with the word of God? To force them to come and join this side? You see God's goodness in that? Duford went on to reference Isaiah 1 verse 30, which likens the rebellious and unfaithful Israelites in Jerusalem and Judah to an oak whose leaf withers and a garden without water. She implied Trump supporters are similar. Isaiah is talking about an oak whose leaves wither and a garden going without water, continued Duford. She has ties to the Lincoln Project, whose website describes her as LGBTQ plus friendly, licensed professional counselor. According to biblical commentator Matthew Henry, the prophet's mention of oaks in Isaiah 1 verse 29 to 30 is an apparent allusion to the sacred groves where the Israelites worshipped Baal, not God, Ashtoreth, not God, and other false gods, whose rites included child sacrifice and sexual immorality. So kind of like what the world's pushing right now. In 2020, she penned a letter in support of Evangelicals Concerned Inc., an organization that advocates for evangelicals to support same-sex marriage. These things happen slowly over time. First people profess the Lord, made excuses for Trump's lack of kindness, then for the name-calling, and soon it was excuses for assault, she says. Then it became excuses for January 6, and now making excuses for convicted assault and 34 felonies, Duford said. The oak leaves don't wither overnight, and I'm terrified to think how far this turning our head the other way and making excuses will take our country. But more importantly, our witness to the world, she added. Voting Kamala, for me, is much greater than policies. It's a vote against another four years of faith leaders justifying the actions of a man who destroys the message Jesus came to spread. And that's why I got involved in politics, she said. Duford closed her remarks by admonishing her listeners to pray for the faith leaders in our country to take a stand for justice, mercy, and humility. So she doesn't understand the scripture. She doesn't know the groves she's trying to protect that are withering or actually for false God worship. 
and and she takes stands that are unbiblical on multiple points same-sex marriage lgbtq all these things and yet she wants to speak as an authority for god that's the problem i've got right there watch out who you listen to and who you follow are they walking as jesus walked are they speaking from the word of god are they rightly dividing the word and not using portions of it without understanding to try and push and convince in a certain direction we are living in a time of deception and the very first thing jesus warned us about when he was telling them about the times of the end was be careful that no one deceives you why because deception will be through the roof as we see that it is right now don't despair though speak to the holy spirit he's with us he guards our hearts and our minds we just need to keep focused on god and the truth shalom